Hello, this is Sarah again, and this is a review for the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2 Water Soluble Wax Pastels. This is the 30 piece set. Um, earlier, uh, I did a review for the Karen Dosh Special Edition sets, which are right here. And these particular sets, the lighting is not working with me today, um, have no repeating colors uh, for this set except for white. Um, and white isn't even included in this, in this set. It is an off-white color. So white is the only color repeated. So you can buy all of these sets and have 60 different colors all together. Um, for, for a review, in case you didn't see my other review for these, these are the colors for these special edition sets right here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So these are all the colors that you can get in the individual sets here. Um, this one's the autumn set. Uh, this one is the spring set. And this one is the summer set. Move it over. Having a little camera issue today, I think. Um, so these are the colors available in these special edition sets. Um, and again, to give you a bit better look since the lighting is not working with me right now, um, this is the autumn colors. These are the spring colors. And these are the summer special edition set colors. Right there. Now, like I said, the only color repeated between these three sets and this 30 piece set are, um, is a white color. Um, but it is not exactly the same color of white. Um, it's a little off, off white. Um, all the other colors are completely different. So here's the inside of the case. These are beautiful, beautiful colors. Love these colors. And and like all Karen Dosh products, the pigment is out of this world. It is so full of pigment, it's just fantastic. I would love to have a complete set of all of these, um, all of their colors. And I believe they come in 84 different colors. Here is uh, swatches that I have already drawn on the page with the 30 piece set right here. So what I will be doing is showing you how they work with water. Um, this is regular watercolor paper. I've not done anything special to it. So the absolutely lowest budget of artists um, could use this without any gesso on the page, without any other um, matte down or anything. I'm um, just plain as they are on watercolor paper. That's what I'm doing. Um, so I have already done this light blue color. Here is the blue. And I just want you to see how easily they blend out. And they leave absolutely no mark where I originally put the mark on the page. None. I mean, there is nothing. It's just beautiful. Um, love the richness of these colors, and I am using a water brush. Um, just standard water brush, nothing special, regular water in here. And as you can see, when you add the water, some of them change a little bit in color from what you originally see, and that's why these reviews are so important um, to me. Um, to show you exactly how the product works um, from start to finish. And what I'm doing between each color is uh, wiping off my brush, getting a little bit more water on there, and going on. So I'm not doing anything special to the brush or anything, just um, wiping and going on. So let me finish doing these real quick.
And as you can see with the lighter colors, um, this one and this one, um, you can see just a little bit of the mark on the page, but I think if you work that a bit more than I am doing right now, um, those marks would go away very easily. Karen Dosh products are top of the line in my book. And like I said, I would love, love to have the entire line of these products. I am getting just a little bit at a time, which is what my budget allows me to do. What most people's budgets allow them to do, I believe. I'm bringing some of these out just to show you that they do wash out really nicely. I am in no way, shape, or form a Karen Dosh spokesperson at all. Um, these are products that I use. These are products that I love, and I would like to share those with you. When I find a good product, I think that it is uh, worth my time to make a little video and show you exactly what is great about the product. I don't want to just sit here and be like, hey, these are great. Come buy these products. Um, I want to tell you why they're great. And that's the whole point of, of my videos. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate everybody watching. Subscribe. Subscriptions um, make me happy every day. I get on there and I look to see if anybody else has subscribed. and It just brings a smile to my face when somebody has. So subscribe to me. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Um, tell me what I could do better in my videos. Oops, got a bit too much water on that one. Pop that on my water brush there. Ooh, that is a pretty color. This is the first time I've used these. Um, I've not used them on any of my drawings or my artwork or anything yet. Um, I wanted to um, unbox it, get it out there to the world. I have used other Karen Dosh products. I have used, since I've done the review on the other ones, I have used those on different things. Um, but I've not used these particular Karen Dosh products. Um, and again, this is the 30 piece set. These are just the smoothest, pigmenty watercolor crowns I have ever used. And I've tried quite a few different ones. I'm not too impressed with many of them. They leave streaks on the paper. They don't, they're not really water soluble as much as I'd like them to be. Um, things like that. So this is the whole line of the 30 piece set. Um, and this, zoom back out. This is the 30 piece set line there. And let's see if I can redo this a little bit. Well, almost. Anyway, um, this is the 30 piece set. This particular set. You can see the colors in here. Dries very quickly on the paper. I'm going to hold these up for you to see a bit better. I know my camera is a bit far back for you to see all of the colors. Just beautiful colors, beautiful pigments. Each crayon is four inches in length. Um, just beautiful colors. I really do enjoy using these. And these are the special edition ones that I did in my last video. So what I'd like to do here on the side is show you how well they blend. So I'm picking out two colors here really quick. I'm picking out a blue and a green and I'm going to um, show you how well they write. And these, I'm not pressing very hard at all, just a very light touch. 
and it leaves a lot of pigment on there. This is the blue. Again, very light touch. I'm not I'm not pushing down hardly at all, and it leaves quite a bit of pigment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix each one of these separately, and then in the middle here, I'm going to do the blending. So let me do that real quick. And as you can see, the lines in here all disappear. I mean, there is no trace of, of anything that you've done on here. And here in the middle, you'll see they blend flawlessly. I mean, just flawless. Let me blend out this color more. So you can see there are no lines left when you get done blending this. And this is a water brush, probably not the best choice to use with these. A regular paintbrush would do much better. Um, so you can control the exact amount of water that, that you're getting on your brush. Um, that's always key in watercolor of any type. So as you can see, the green, flawless, blue, flawless. And in the middle, the mix is just a beautiful color that you're not going to get in their set. So these are great for mixing. They are great for anything you can use watercolor for and more. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Karen Dosh and say thank you for your products. I really appreciate them. And to the rest of the world, um, I completely recommend these products. Thank you for watching and happy coloring.